Remember, if they're stiff to the left, when you lope, they're going to pick up the right lead. The hind end dictates the hind quarters. So when, they're, when, they're, when they get rigid and stiff, like a board, like a two by four, if I've got pressure on the left rein, that makes the hind quarters go to the right. She's gonna pick up the right lead instead of the left, left lead. So once they do that, I supple them up. So as long as she's headed in the right direction, the reins are slack. Turn to the left, she's resisting, use my feet. Thump on her, thump, 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 thump until she gives. Good. Now, continue on trotting. At the trot, we're just repeating the same thing. If I put pressure, if I put pressure in the left, left rein and she doesn't give, like she's, she's stiffening up, I just start thumping with my feet until she gives. Perfect. Take it right back up into the trot. Now I might, sometimes I might bump the rein. If I give, if I ask, for her nose to come and she doesn't come, I might bump it until it does come. There we go. And as soon as it does, I give the slack. Bump, 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 give the slack. Bump, 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 give the slack. We go to the right, put pressure on the right rein. She's given to it pretty good. I'm gonna take it all the way around, just see how good she gives it. Hang on, her mouth's opening up, she's resisting. There, she gave willingly, I give the slack. Take it, good, give the slack. I'm just testing that I can take her head anytime I want. That's my control. Now I'm going to thump as I click, cluck. We got the wrong lead. I'm going to turn her to the, to the left. She's stiffening up. I'm going to bump, the, bump her head. Remember, if they're stiff to the left, when you lope, they're going to pick up the right lead. The hind end dictates the hind quarters. So when, they're, when, they're, when they get rigid and stiff, like a board, like a two by four, if I've got pressure on the left rein, that makes the hind quarters go to the right. She's gonna pick up the right lead instead of the left, left lead. So once they do that, I supple them up, take that head till they give, now lope. And we got it. Now this is a big loper, a big mover. I'm just gonna let her travel on as long as things are looking pretty good. I'm not gonna worry her at this lope as long as things are looking okay. Now ask her to give to my hand, bump with my feet. She's not giving, there she gave. There she gave, take it big, perfect, good. Oh, nice. Now, right there, she kept her head to the side as I bumped her with the outside foot, and look at that front end come. I like that. That's perfect, 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 perfect. Let's lope to the right. I wanna make sure I get the right lead. This time, I'm gonna to circle to the right, make sure she's not stiff this way. Now ask the lope. We got the right lead, good. She's loping fast, but that's okay. She hasn't been ridden very much. So this speed, she's not loping. She's not running off. And that's all I care about. She'll slow down on her own if she gets better broke. Now I'm going to ask her to turn to the right, ask for the stop, hope, oh, oh, hope, slack. Reward that. Okay, let's stop the video so I can give you some additional information. What you just watched was a short clip taken from my online training course titled Lope Slow with Complete Control. If you're interested in that, you can get it on my website. It's available as online streaming videos. I'll leave a link in the description box below. In that course, you'll learn a ton of good stuff. I mean, if your horse won't slow down or stop, won't take the correct lead, won't side pass or easily turn on his hocks, you, you really need to see this. There's a lot more to it, you know, way too much to cover here, but 
if you want an extremely well-trained horse, go check it out. I mean, it's, it's well worth it. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, you'll find additional information and links in the description box below the video. And don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.